In this video, I want to show you how to import multiple tables into the Power Query within Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to pick on the data menu up top, data, and then I'm going to pick on the word get data. Now with the Power Query, you can import many different data sources, but in this case, I'll just import it from another Excel spreadsheet. I'll do from file and then from workbook. And then you would point to the Excel spreadsheet in question. So in this case, I'm going to use uh, this file I use quite a bit for these classes, uh, the student file. I'll pick on import. Okay, so here come the important steps. First of all, you want to click where it says select multiple items. And then it does allow you to pick more than one of these. So then I'm going to pick some of these. Uh, these are all the different sheets in that other workbook. And now I'm going to pick all of these. Now all of these, I, I know this other uh, workbook, all of these happen to be formatted tables in that Excel workbook. Now here's the, uh, I think the really critical step. I'm going to come down here and click on the pull down where it says load. See the pull down? And then I'm going to pick on the word load two. So I'm going to click on the word table here. That means that each one of those will be a formatted table in the Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to click on the word new worksheet. Each one of those will make its own separate sheet. And then I'm also going to say add the data to the data model. If you add something to the data model, then you can actually use it in the power pivot as well. So, I mean, it'll be all ready for the power pivot. So I chose the word table and then new worksheet and then add the data to the data model. I'm going to click OK. You can see how they're all coming in at the same time. So it's going to take a few seconds. And then the end result is um, you have this window over here that's called queries and connections. It's going to show all of those. And then now um, it, it gave each one of those a different sheet. Now, when you do it, if you were to say sheet one and sheet two and things like that, it just means you have a slightly older version of uh, Excel. Just recently, did they change it where it actually has the, the sheet name that represents the table name? So if yours doesn't do that, it just means you have a slightly older version of Excel and you can just rename the sheets. But if you follow the steps that I showed you, you should have these over here on the uh, right hand side within the queries and connections window. And uh, that's how we can import multiple tables into the Excel spreadsheet using the Power Query.